Hello YouTube. Before I get into this video, I just want to take the time to wish everyone a happy and healthy and wonderful Thanksgiving, which is coming up. I have so much to be thankful for and so many things to be grateful for. And this year especially, I've just been keeping this in my heart and foremost in my mind, you know, for the last couple of weeks at least. So today, if you've read the thumbnail, which I'm sure that you did, you will see that this is going to be an unboxing from Fashion File. And yes, I've done a lot of unboxings recently. However, this is a replacement for the mini Gucci Vertical Marmont that I said I was going to sell back, which I did. And I'm hoping that this replacement is going to be something that I'll get a little bit more use out of and it's going to fit a little bit more and be a little bit more versatile than the Mini Gucci. And just to kind of backtrack, that Mini Gucci that I sold back to Fashion File is the third Mini Gucci bag that I've bought and the second one that I've sold. I had a Mini Ophidia Flora that I bought from Fashion File that was gorgeous. And I kind of found the same thing. The way you need to arrange your things in there was a little bit awkward for me. And I didn't like the fact that the bag flipped over on its strap. But I had bought that for a really good deal and was able to sell it back to them and, and get my money back. And I'm going to say that that Gucci was, the, the vertical marmot was really an impulse buy because I was just blown away by the pretty flowers on it. And I should have thought better of it. But... This isn't an impulse buy. I was thinking about something like this for a long time, and I'm going to just stop yakking and get in the box. So here's the box. Here's my scissors. And if you've been with me through any unboxing videos, you know that sometimes me, a box, and a pair of scissors, not always the greatest match. Um, I am not a graceful unboxer. I seem to be really uncoordinated when it comes to using scissors. And yeah, I really need to, to be careful. I remember being a child in school and having those safety scissors. And I always thought, you know, what was the point? Because they never really cut anything. And they give us these papers and, you know, different things, construction paper and whatnot that we were supposed to make art projects out of. And they were hideous. All right, so... I kind of have one side open. Let's see. They really tape these very, very well. And obviously this is a true unboxing. I haven't seen what's in here either. So I want to do this with you guys. You're going to have to be a little bit patient. All right, so I have the box open. Finally. It says fashion file, and inside, here we go, here we go, my receipt, the file, which the last couple of things that I got from fashion file, I didn't get a file, who knows why, I know they give these things out like crazy, not that I needed one, but I was surprised that I didn't get one. And, of course, it says use this new note. Now, this was supposed to come with the box, the authenticity card, and everything. So, and a dust bag. I think a dust bag, too. So, let's just check it out and see. So, it's a flat box. And I really do love these fashion file dust bags. And they're really great to keep and to have as a spare or to use as a second dust bag. Sometimes, too, you get boxes that have crappy dust bags, and I'll replace it with the Fashion File dust bag because they're a little bit better. Okay. You can see that this is from Chanel. And, wow, it even has... Okay, no, that's the sticker from Fashion File. So let's open it up to reveal... Oh, this is the medium lambskin casino O case. And I'm just looking at this for the first time. Wow. This is absolutely 
stunning. Stunning, I tell you. And this was listed in excellent condition. It had listed that there were scuffs and I think minor scratches on the hardware. I don't see anything here that scratched or scuffed. I know with the lambskin, you're supposed to be able to buff out any kind of minor marks. So I'm hoping that that's the case. So I'm gonna just kind of give this a little look to the camera. You could see the corners. It looks amazing. And on the tag, on the zipper pull, it has the little casino charms. Here's the number five. Here's the dice. And the little CC with crystals. And it does not have a CC at the end. I'm kind of surprised about that. So let me give it a little look inside. It's a burgundy quilted wipeable lining. They actually have this listed as a cosmetic case. And, you know, I'm not sure because when I went to the boutique and I was looking for an O case, they did pull this out. Well, not this particular one because this is from a few years ago, but they pulled out a medium O case that looked just like this. It did have the pocket, the smile pocket in the back. This does not, this is just plain, which is fine by me. So yeah, I am just really, really thrilled. I'm glad that I decided to pick this as a replacement for the Gucci. I definitely think that this will be a nice clutch to use for many different occasions. You know, it's, it's dressy, of course, but it's casual enough that you could take it with you. You know, if you just kind of want to be in the mood to have something that looks a little bit elegant and that's going to be not taking up so much space, maybe going to brunch or to a restaurant at, in any situation, or you're going to a party, not like I go to any parties, but let's just say if, but yeah, I mean, there's definitely occasions where I will find this, you know, for, for holiday gatherings, um, going to a Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving and, you know, it'll be nice to have a small bag that I can take with me and just kind of lay it inside of my coat when my coat's taken off and, you know, not have to worry about something that's big that's going to spill. So yeah, I am really, really thrilled. So I'm going to just put this down for a second and I'm going to take a look because in the box, there's some more stuff. I want to see what's here. Hey, Ty. My little tiger is here. So yeah, here is the authenticity card. And apparently it's packed in this white envelope, which would have held the receipt. And here's the original dust bag. Oh. Here's the original dust bag. And there's even the original tissue paper. So if anybody's interested, um, this wasn't really cheap. It was $895 and I got $550 back for the Gucci. Um, so I did have to put some money towards this, but it's Christmas. And I wanted to treat myself to something because I recently had my chemo port removed. And it's Chanel. I mean... You know, I say all the time that there's not a huge difference between items, and in a lot of cases, there isn't. However, there is just something a little bit special about having a piece from Chanel or from Hermes where you can see what the quality is and just how well made and, you know, the, the material that they're made out of is just top notch. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. So thanks for watching. I'm going to do another video to show what fits and to talk a little bit more about what, what to use it for. I really, really appreciate anybody who's been tuning in. I have a lot of people who watch my videos, but I don't have that many subscribers. And I would really like it if you've been watching my videos and if you've returned and if you like my content to give me a thumbs up 
hit the subscribe button and join me next time because I try to follow up on some of the things that I talk about and the topics that I bring up. So if you like this video, hopefully you're going to want to see the follow up to this. All right. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Have a good night. Bye bye.